Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain about the design of logic circuit for odd parity generator. So as we have seen in the previous video, even parity generator, we have first taken the truth table based upon the logic that the total number of ones should be even including with the parity bit. Here also including with along with the parity bit, there should be only odd number of ones. So first we need to take the truth table. See what is the concept behind this? The number of ones, the number of ones should be odd along with the parity bit. Along with the parity bit. Okay. Suppose if there are even number of ones, then if there are even number of ones, then make parity bit as one. To make overall bits to be odd. So with that we are going to first draw the truth table A, B, C, D and F nothing but odd parity odd parity. So, four zeros, zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, 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 double, zero, one, zero, one, 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 zero, triple, one. See here, the number of ones in the first case the number of ones are zero so it is also one see here what happens now the total number of ones are one so it is odd here it is zero because it is already having odd number of ones zero one zero one one and it is also zero and similarly for the remaining numbers so here it is odd number 0 even number 1 odd number ah, okay again it is 0 1 0 0 again it is 1 okay so what we are doing the total number of ones should be odd in odd parity generator the total number of ones along with the output bit i should be odd okay so again same use k map to determine the logic expression <coughs> k map for the odd parity generator a b c d 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 so here also you will get in alternate positions where you cannot do mapping anywhere okay all the ones are individually mapped so no prime implicant is there then why why what we have taken here f then f is equal to f is equal to a bar b bar c bar d bar plus a bar b bar c d plus a b c bar d bar plus a b c d 
plus a bar b a bar b b bar d plus a b a b a bar b a bar b c d bar plus a b bar c bar d plus a b bar c d bar now if you take again same a bar b bar common take a bar b bar common then it is c x naught c x naught d plus a b c x naught d plus a bar b c x r b c x r d plus a b bar c x r d c x r d again if you further simplify it is c x r d <coughs> whole bar a x r b whole bar plus c x r d a x r b so finally it will give you a x r b x r c x r d okay this is the expression so again here also we have got the same answer like a x r b x r c x r d but with <coughs> but with complement that means x nor get so simply it is nothing but the logic circuit consists of xr operation among all the inputs and then we are having the not get complemented form <coughs> next a b c d for input D, we have one more XR gate, and then we are having a bubble at the output, nothing but XNR gate. So these two are A, B, C, and D. This is the logic circuit. Okay, so what we have done just simply we have identified where the number of ones are odd and where the number of ones are even here completely the output even parity or odd parity are depending upon the number of ones the number of ones are equal or uh, whether uh, they are odd um, or set odd number of ones or even number of ones if there are even number of ones then we need to make it as uh, odd by adding parity bit as one if there are e odd number of ones then we can no need to add anything simply zero keeping zero is sufficient because that doesn't make you that doesn't change the count of the number of ones okay uh, this is what the even parity and odd parity generators so what is the difference there we don't have this in the even parity generator we don't have this we didn't have this uh, nor gate not gate this not gate will make this gate as x nor gate x nor gate nothing but which is the complement of x or gate that is what we have got that's why we have got a complement at the output f okay thank you